Uh, trying to kid people, perhaps, as to uh, how easy the qualification was. The second qualifying mark, if you like, because it's 20.50. And that is uh, maybe an opportunity for him. So Hughes is in between Jamili and Talbot. Hughes and Talbot both have the two qualifying marks. So again, top two only. Definitely go to Rio. Two in the meter final. Set. Get away clearly, and John L. Hughes already finds Adam Jamili has up and passed him around the top end there. Talbot going well. Chris Clark trying to stay up with the Prescott with a bit of work to do. But look at Jamili and Talbot. These two pulling away now. Can John L. Hughes find anything? Answer is no. Jamili coming away from Talbot, and Talbot coming back at him. And will Talbot get there? No. Jamili wins it. 25-46. Double bonus. That's enough. That's good enough. The two of them will go because Jamili has dipped under the qualifying mark again. Talbot came with a late surge there. Wasn't quite good enough in the end. And as we suspected with Jean L. Hughes, he now has to convince for my money. We've got Mitchell Blake, we've got others who have some convincing to do with the selectors. These two are going, oh sorry, uh, Jamili and uh, Dan Talbot, not in the picture there, but those two definitely going. The question is, not an answer we need today, but who will get the third spot. But what did you make of that, Colin Jamili? Good bet, good start, good bend. Came under some pressure and just had enough in the end. Yeah, you first of all mentioned how chilly it is, Steve. It is gone. The temperature has really plummeted now, isn't it, for these sprinters? Oh, you've got a hoodie on and a, and a <laughs> fleece and everything. I'm still in a shirt. I am perishing, but you're from the northeast, remember. You're stronger than us Welsh. She's right in the middle, though. Adam step really on Zanels, really quickly, got onto his shoulder and just breezed past him. Next target, obviously, was Danny Talbot. Again, he flew past Danny, but Danny kept that real cool head, didn't he? He's one of these really meticulous athletes, and he just kept that rhythm of his going, which made him gain ground. Look at this, we're getting close to the line. Adam leans in, Danny was right there, wasn't he? Really good run from both those guys, and I'm pretty sure they both went under that Olympic qualifying standard there. But it's all about for these two getting into that team, making sure they're on the plane, because now they can just do the polishing. You know, they'll go away, they'll decide what races that they need to do. But it's really good that they, I believe, certainly come to the top of their game. And this is the feel that you want to be, you know, that you're getting there, arriving, doing qualifying marks in these kind of conditions, good competitive racing. It's really just looking great for these sprinters.